What is the best way to compost manure? Things that can and can't go in the manure pile, pile average time, best bedding conducive to composting. A lot of questions. Lots there. of questions yeah. in there. And I and most vets are in no way experts on composting, however. That's not what you got your degree in. <laughs> not uh, my poop degree. But <laughs> my, my barn owner uh, did this and did it really well. And so I do have some firsthand knowledge about it. Okay. But I mostly learned things for to answer this question because I wanted to do it accurately. Love it. Yeah. Um, there are some great resources, and I know I've shared these before, but your county extension offices. Mm -hmm. um, one that I found that was really good was Washington State University. I don't know how to say this, Whatcom? Whatcom? Whatcom County? Yeah. If you all live there, yeah, you know. That's, a, that's how I see it. What, Whatcom County, we'll put it up on the screen, uh, Cooperative Extension has detailed not just how to do it and answer all your questions, but even like bin designs. Because one, uh -huh. of the, one of the first things you have to decide is after location, 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 is am I just going to make piles of poop? Or am I going to put them in bins, which is mm. a bit neater, um, and in, I think it will give you a better quality a product at the end, and also maybe be faster because when you have it in a bin, it's not just loose, and you can turn it, and yes. it stays in the bin. Yeah, and and then you have th it, there's a three bin method that's described, and so the first bin is when you put your where you put your fresh stuff. Okay, and then when it's full you move it with the front end tractor loader. So you, you have to have some equipment to the second bin where there, now it does the hot composting. Okay. You, it, it's it's um, heat and water and air use, and that's, that's the, and then the substrate, the manure and whatever bedding is in there and whatever else you put in is what gives the, the mi microorganisms in there all the, the resources they need to then tear this, break this down. And then the third bin is where you put it to finish or cure, and then it's ready to be sold or used or whatever. Um, so, so can you just get back to yeah. the location, location, location? What things are we considering where to put it? Well, you wouldn't put it um, by a home. <laughs> um, <laughs> Unless if it's you, a neighbor you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, you'd want to put it where the runoff, because you're, you're supposed to cover your bins so it doesn't get rain on mm -hmm. or dried out from the sun. But there's going to be some runoff, and you don't want the runoff to be into your barn or a water source or your arena or the horses' yes. pasture stuff. You, you want to put it in a place. On concrete's great because if you have to come in and turn it, you want it to be on a on a footing, a surface that is you can do that readily. So you're not like just grabbing the dirt from underneath. Or, yeah, yeah, you're not ruining your your land. So. Um, and then you have to consider, you know, wind and, and odor and things. Although a compost pile shouldn't have a, a, a strong smell, and if it does, then something is not right. Yeah. So that's my tip of that's the week. A, that's a little <laughs> tip inside of it there. Um, so we, we talked about keeping it covered. Yep. You have to get air into the pile because the, the microorganisms, the bacteria, will need oxygen to break down these, um, these uh, nutrients. And y you can do that in a number of ways. Y what we did was we took PVC pipe mm -hmm. and we put holes in it along it oh. and then we put those in first and then we piled the manure over it so there was like the manure around a pipe and and then you could if, if it's a yeah, well, it's almost, oh, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> and and then if it's, a, if it's a bigger pile the, the the ideal size pile is like like what these bins are described as eight foot by eight foot square and four foot tall that's like the ideal size yeah. because bigger than that, then air can't get to all of the. Got it. Yeah. So that's what's got. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but you still might even with the PVC pipe in there need to turn it once in a while. Do you, is that challenging with the PVC pipe in there though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, some places if it's a bigger outfit, it, like it depends. You have to figure out how many horses you have, how much manure they make a day, fifty pounds. Yeah, nine ton a year. And if you can even... That'll be a trivia question coming your way at some point, Do I'm sure. this on your property. Yeah. Right? So some places, there's a new study out now that says windrowing is a better way to do a large-scale compost no. operation. Do you know what windrow no. is? No. Um, you know when they, when they harvest hay, they cut hay, they, they lay it to dry just in piles, yeah. like in rows yeah. down the field? Okay, so the same thing with manure. Oh. You can, you can put piles of rows of manure, and then you have to turn it. But this Do is you have to keep it covered? 
You can't. Okay, no, that's why I was big. like, right. okay. Right. So this is a large scale operation. Yeah. So, so the first thing for you is figure out if it's even feasible based on how many horses you have, how much space you have, um, how much time you have, that, all that. I want to get into, um, well, she has things that can and can't go in. Correct. Yep. You, you can't put regular garbage. This is not a garbage pile, right? Yeah. So you, don't, you can't put metal, you can't put plastic, um, you can't put like baling twine, baling wire. Like people can't throw wrappers, and it's just not, this is not garbage. So um, I don't know if you need signs or if you're the only person there, but it is not a garbage pile. Um, she asked about time also. Correct, yep. So that size that I gave you, that bin size, that eight by eight by four, it can take like three months to get to the, the bin to the hot composting. So from the first bin to the second mm -hmm. bin. And then to the second bin to the third bin takes like another three months. So six months in total for fresh manure to be ready to be used. Wow, okay, so that's yeah. a little bit of time. On that, that size. And then as far as what kind of bedding, mm -hmm. it's important to have the carbon to nitrogen ratio 25 or 30 to one. Okay. Okay. What provides you with um, uh, nitrogen is the manure, yep. vegetable waste, produce, uh, weeds, fresh leaves, grass clippings, plants. What provides you with carbon are the, the dried materials, especially your, your beddings, your straw, your wood chips, your wood shavings, dry leaves. And you have to, like horse manure is almost ideal, it's 15 to one. Carbon to one. Okay, carbon so to you're uh, heading in the right direction. Yeah, so, but you should add some things that are a little bit higher to bring it into that 25 to 30. So you could add um, some dry leaves. Straw would be excellent. Straw would be an excellent bedding. What would not be a great bedding, wood chips. Uh, the ratio of carbon to nitrogen, 700 to one. Because the wood chips have lignin in them as a component of the plant, the mm -hmm. wood. And the, the microbes cannot break that down. And so you're gonna have lower quality compost and it's gonna take a long time to break down. So straw, I think, is our best bet. That sounds better than that 700 to, to one. one. Yeah. So it's I, I would do some reading about this, and make sure it's 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 appropriate for you and your situation. What does your barn use the compost with after? What do you guys do with it? I think people come and get it. Nice. Yeah, because we we well we only had three horses. We have four now, um, and a three bin system. So it's one eight by eight by four bin that people can get compost from. In our next video, Lydia will show you how <laughs> to build a compost pile. <laughs> oh, no, no. She does a great job. Don't you love job, that you to all these things? Oh. <laughs> so many great videos coming up. <laughs> well, hopefully that helps you out. If you definitely uh, make a compost pile, send us the pictures of it. We love to see what you guys set up there. Send us the compost. Maybe, the, maybe just the bins outside of the bin bins. Bin three. Bin three. <laughs> yeah.